In this week's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about ICP tests and why they can be really helpful and pretty important in your reef tank. We're also gonna go over the results I got back for the King Tide Lagoon. Let's go ahead and jump into it. What's going on reefers? My name's Blaine. Welcome back to another update on the King Tide Corals channel. It's going to be really fun this week to be able to talk to you guys about ICP tests in general and also the results I got back for the lagoon. I also want to say thanks for all the support during my hiatus. I know it's been a couple weeks since I put out a video, but I'm really excited to get back on the horse and start having fun putting out more content for you guys. Family and work, it all comes first and so I had to handle some things and the past couple weeks have kind of gotten past me. so. We're gonna get back into it and start making videos for you guys. This week's gonna be really fun though to talk about ICP tests, why they're so important, and also the results that I got back for my own tank. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and talk a little bit about the why of why you should have an ICP test ready to go or also try it out for yourself. Now to just break it down simply why you should get an ICP test, it's well, you can just be able to understand a little bit more about your water chemistry within your system. Maybe you have a problem that you have not been able to solve by just going over the regular testers that we have normally on hand for any reef keeping hobby. Now the ICP test goes a little bit deeper. It checks for more elements that you may not normally be testing for. And maybe that's an element you're lacking in and that's something that's wrong with your tank. These ICP tests are really cool and I really enjoyed actually sending my first one in. I'm no advocate for them because, well, I've only done one. And this single one that I did, I screwed up on the testing to be able to send it in, but it all got figured out in the end because these companies are really helpful and they only just wanna give back the results to you of your tanks. It's really cool to be able to understand how close your tank is to a natural environment as well. How close are you to the natural environment that you're shooting for? Are you able to create the right balance of elements to be able to create a really healthy coral or fish system in general? Let's go ahead now talk a little bit about the steps it takes to start your own ICP test and how easy it really is just with the simple three steps. Flashback. So I just recently picked up an ICP analysis test kit. I'm really excited to share it with you guys and I wanted to show you guys what's actually inside the box. This is the ICP analysis test kit that I just recently picked up. It's made by Coral View. It's a really cool little single test kit and you get to sample both your RO water and water from your tank. So most importantly, you wanna make sure and you're not breaking up the box because this is the box you're actually gonna be sending your test results back in. So keeping this intact is the first rule of breaking open this box. Inside are two vials that you're gonna be using to send in your test results or your samples, sorry. You're gonna be sending one with RO water and then one with your tank water. The other things that come with this are a couple baggies that you're gonna put the samples inside of just in case if there are any spilling that occurs during shipping. Also, there are two labels that you're gonna have that you're gonna actually end up filling out with unique IDs that you get off the website. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that here in the future. And then also you get a label that you use to put onto the box that actually helps and sends it directly back to the lab. It's nice because you don't have to pay for any kind of postage, you just bring it into your post office, get it checked in, and then they send it off to the lab. So that's everything inside the ICP analysis test kit. So let's go ahead, fill up our vials, get everything ready, and send it off to the post office and get it ready to go to the lab. Two hours later. Now doing an ICP test actually is really simple and to me it was a huge surprise because normally when I look at something like this, it's gonna involve a lot of things to do, get this into this, put this in a bag, get this label on it, and all these other things, and then of course shipping it off to them. But really, it's fairly simple. It's pretty much straightforward to you. There's one thing in general that I will tell you as a helpful tip to be able to get these sent in and get your test results back quick enough, but there's all kinds of great things you can learn by sending off one of these tests. Now the first step is registering. Now you wanna register, create an online account within their website, icp-analysis.com, and this is where you're gonna be able to start this out. 
Next, you wanna start up by filling your sample bottles. Now, you're gonna have two different bottles you're gonna receive. You're gonna have one bottle that's gonna be for your tank water, and then you're also gonna have another bottle that's gonna be used for your RO water. You're gonna to wanna to test both of them, and now that you have two separate test samples, one with your tank and one with your RO, you're gonna go onto your account, and you're gonna create a tank, and you're gonna get a unique ID for that, and that's gonna go directly on the bottle for your tank water and you're also going to create an RO water or a faucet system that's going to give you another unique ID number that you're then going to attach to your ICP RO water sample. Now one thing I screwed up during this process was I only put one unique ID down for both of them. I didn't realize that you needed to create a faucet which was then going to give you a different unique ID. So that's my little helpful tip here if you're trying out one of these ICP analysis test kits yourself. The third and final step you need to do in order to get your test results is, well, put everything into the box that it originally came with, get it all taped down. I use some tape just in case to not blow out the box. And then you put the shipping label that's already attached inside the box to your box and then take it directly into your post office. I took it into the local postal office and I just took it up to the front desk because I wanted to get a receipt. A tracking number is already attached to this sticker so you can take a picture of it for the tracking information. But I just wanted to take it up front just in case. But I'm pretty sure you're able to just drop it off at any package drop off at any of your postal services. Several days later. Now that we've talked about how simple the process is to get your samples sent out, the best part of this whole thing is receiving your samples, test results, being able to check out what's going on within your water chemistry. So let's go ahead and dive into my RO water that I received back. Now that you guys are able to see it here on your screen, I'm going to show you guys basically what I was able to go over, check out, and see what was going on with my RO water. Now it's going to show everything on the screen in white if it's in the proper level, it's going to show yellow if it's a little bit high, and it's going to show red if it's obviously outside the spectrum that you want to be in. Or it's going to show yellow if you're really low on something, or red if you're extremely low on another element. But just like I was saying, let's check out our RO water. Now the front row or the top row is where we're gonna see a lot of things showing up in my RO water. Now that I'm seeing this, maybe it's a reason why maybe my water clarity isn't so great. And also I've seen results back on people that are doing just ICP test reviews online and I see them come back with results for their RO water with a lot of red blocks. So it's really good to see that there's no red blocks on my screen and just a lot of yellow, but these are some things I can clean up. And I think honestly, if I were to swap out some filters and get everything set on my RO water, I think it'd be a lot better and we wouldn't have to deal with any of these numbers. Let's go ahead and dive into now the King Tide Lagoon and check out these numbers. Now overall, I'm extremely happy with all the numbers that I received from the ICP analysis for the King Tide Lagoon. You guys can see right here on the screen, there's only one element that I'm a little bit low on, and it's iodine. Iodine usually is really good for a system because it can help with the healing and also sometimes with bacterial infections. Now this could be a reason why I'm having a little bit of an issue with one of my mushrooms. My magic carpet mushroom has slowly receded and it seems as though it has a bacterial infection and maybe this low amount of iodine in the water can be the case of why this isn't healing up super well. Now that we've looked at the entire element list, it shows a lot of good things on this result list. I'm really surprised. I didn't think I was gonna get such great results back from my tank water, to be completely honest, but to see this, it makes me really happy. It shows that I have a really well-balanced system and I'm able to kind of achieve the numbers that I'm hoping for, particularly in the trace elements and the elements that we don't normally test for. Now that we've checked that out, we've been able to check out my results. I'm curious to hear from anyone if you guys have tried out an ICP result and how your test results came back to you. If you guys have, drop a comment down below and we can start a little conversation on both our results together or just my results as well. If you guys see anything that's really glaring that I need to work on, go ahead and let me know down in the comments as well. So overall, we've seen that the test results are really easy to get. The entire system is very simple and I really like that about the ICP analysis test kit that I received. It's really cool and honestly, it wasn't too expensive either. It was about $30 in total that I spent to get this little box and then get everything sent off as well to get these results back. It's pretty cool, you create your own profile 
and you can continue to add more tests onto the same tank that you tested to previously. So it's pretty cool to kind of keep a running total and see progression or things that are going wrong in the future, potentially to be able to lean back on and check that data. Now overall, I'm really happy that I tried out one of these ICP analysis test kits because it's my first one and I think it went really well. Also overall, I think it was a really good experience to share with you guys and also give a couple helpful tips because I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but there were some things I was able to figure out along the way. I want to give a big shout out to CoralView for such a great ICP analysis test kit. Now I didn't get a lot of instructions inside the box, there's just those three simple steps it says, but it would have been great to have maybe a little bit more instructions inside to maybe tell me to create both a faucet and a tank so that way I get two unique ID numbers but maybe I'm just a little dumb and I couldn't figure that out myself but if anyone's trying to figure that out you do create two unique IDs when sending in both your RO water and your tank water. I want to say thanks for everyone coming by to check out this video. thought it was really fun to try something new out with you guys and be able to share it here on the channel. I'm also happy that I'm back to making videos and sharing my experiences with you guys. It's really great to kind of get back on the horse. I know I've been active on Instagram, but this YouTube thing can take a lot of work, so I want to make sure that I'm bringing out really good content, and I thought this was a great opportunity to kind of jump back on it and get back to making videos for you guys. So I want to say thank you to you all for tuning in and checking out this week's video. Until next week, happy reefing.